Hi, welcome back to you. A very warm welcome to you. In this video and the coming videos, we'll be covering heights and distances topic. Heights and distances topic covers about finding the horizontal distance or vertical distance of inaccessible objects which cannot be physically measured. They may be visible but they cannot be measured. So one important point to keep in mind when we are working with heights and distances is about angle of elevation and angle of depression. If our line of sight is at ground level and we are looking at an object which is at height then we are making an angle of elevation. Similarly if we are at the top of a tower or an object which is at height and from there we are looking downwards to the ground then we are making an angle of depression. Both the angle of elevation and the angle of depression are made or measured with respect to the horizontal axis. So here I have a problem. So let's try to resolve the problem with whatever the concepts we know. Basically what we'll be doing is we'll be using the trigonometric functions and the information given to us to find out the variables or the height or width as needed in the problem. So let's go ahead. Two pillars of equal height stands at a distance of 100 meter. At a point in between them, the elevation of their tops are found to be 30 and 60 degrees respectively. Determine the height of the pillars and the position of the point of observation. One point I want to tell you before we proceed with examples is heights and distances. You get 80 to 70 percent of your problem correct once you are able to understand the question very clearly and put it on a paper in, 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 in a diagram. So let's go ahead and do that. Two pillars of equal height. So I take two pillars they both are of equal height stands at a distance of 100 meter so I know this horizontal distance is nothing but equal to 100 meter at a point in between them so we don't know the point we have to find it out let us assume the point is here the elevation of their tops so from here if I look this pillar and I look from here this pillar the elevation of their tops are found to be 30 degrees and 60 degrees. So let's uh, say this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is equal to 60 degrees. We know that this is right angle, this is right angle. Okay. Determine the height of the pillars and the position of the point of observation. That means he is asking us to find out this distance if this becomes x we know very clearly that this is nothing but equal to 100 minus x what else we have been told we have been told that this is equal to this so try to understand the problem and we have tried to depict it in pictorial format now what will be the approach to solve this problem I have to find out h and x. I have two triangles, two variables, two triangles will give me two equations. If I compare them, I should be able to find out values of x and h. So for that, let's first name these triangles. Say this is equal to O, this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. So I am taking first the triangle O B D. If I take triangle O B D, 
where I have the information, I have the information, whatever the information I know, it's only with respect to h and 100 minus x. The variables are h and x, right? So, I will say this angle is 30 degrees. So, I will say tan of 30 degrees is equal to h by 100 minus x. nothing but tan 30 is 1 by root 3 you can refer back to that that's from the special triangle sin 30 is 1 by 2 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so tan 30 1 by root 3 is nothing but equal to h by 100 minus x I will not simplify this further this will be my equation number 1 now I will go to the next triangle the triangle is O a C or O C A. Let me say triangle is O A C. In this triangle, the angle of elevation is 60 degrees. Here it is 30 degrees. Here it is 60 degrees. So I will say tan 60 degrees is equal to opposite side that is nothing but equal to H by adjacent side that is nothing but equal to x this gives me h equal to root 3x h is equal to that gives me h is equal to tan 60 is root 3 so this becomes root 3x this is my equation number 2. I have two equations, two variables. I should be able to solve them. So first let us solve for x. So what I will do? I will substitute value of h equal to root 3x in the equation 1. It becomes 1 by root 3 equal to h by 100 minus x this is what the equation 1 is about so I will simplify this we know h equal to root 3x so I can say 1 by root 3 equal to root 3x by 100 minus x since h is equal to root 3x we know that that's nothing but our equation 2 so if you simplify this cross multiply by you get 3x equal to 100 minus x that is nothing but 4x equal to 100 that's nothing but equal to x equal to 25 so we are saying from one of the pillar at 25 meters from the other pillar at a distance of 75 meters if I compare with A 25 if I compare with B it is 75 I have the point which is making an angle of 30 degrees and 60 degrees respectively but we haven't found what is H we have the equation 2 which says H is equal to root 3x we know x equal to 25 so this becomes 25 root 3 that's a very simple example you can see where we have leveraged trigonometric functions to find out the height of the tower and also the point of observations we will do some more problems with respect to so with respect to height and distances in the coming videos thank you bye for now